Hello everyone, this is Inayat Meer with my new video. In this video, I am going to promote a new domain controller. I have FISMA roles on my primary domain controller. So what is the scope of this video is to transfer all FISMA roles to a newly promoted domain controller because we want to decommission the old server. So take this scenario this way. We have a Windows Server 2016 operating system on one domain controller. We provisioned a new Windows Server 2022 operating system on a new host. Now, our root domain is a LON-DC1 and our member server is LON-SVR1. So disregard of the operating system, but keep in mind that that is what we need. So this is my root domain, LON-DC1, IP is 172.16.0.10. I am going to use a different server to promote as a domain controller. The so domain is adatum.com, as you can see. And I am going to show you my FISMA roles. So NetDOM, Curie, FISMA. So you will see the FISMA roles now. So we can see that LON-DC1 is holding all FISMA roles. So again, I said before that we are going to promote a new server, which I already did. I join into uh, to the DC one. So this is my server, which is a member server. So member server has IP 172.16.0.10, uh, sorry, dot 11. 10 is actually uh, my remote server or root server, which I pinged before offline with minus four to look at the IPv4 address. So this is my current IP config of this server which is a member server. So let's go to server manager. And under tools, you will see that my active directory and all other snap ins are not available because this is a member server. So what we will do is add roles and features. We will add first active directory binaries. So binaries are basically your ADDS or Active Directory Domain Services. So as you can see, once you click on ADDS, you will have to install these all features by default. So when you uh, click add all features and you read on the right side the description, all features will be installed uh, as a part of Active Directory Domain Services. <coughs> so let's Click on next and next and next and click on install. So you also can have a good habit to check the box to restart the server. So once you check restart, uh, it is not necessary that each time you take this action, it will reboot because uh, adding ADDS or Active Directory binary services uh, will not reboot the computer, but this is just a habit when I uh, do any task on servers in a real life env environment or in a test environment, uh, I check the box that to reboot the server. We should not actually, uh, if you are in a real uh, production environment, the reason is that uh, during business hours, we should not be rebooting any server in production environment. So this is a different story. If you are in a test environment, you are in a sandbox type or UAT type environment. So you are good to reboot, but not the production servers. So now we have two options. Uh, we have ADDS binaries installed. We have two options to promote. Once right on the same screen here, promote this server to a domain controller. And the second option is onto the top right side, you have a flag with a yellow triangle. You can use this option also. Let's move on to uh, install installation progress screen and we will uh, 
start this visit here we will keep this default options checked add a domain controller to an existing domain because we are not adding a new domain so existing domain is adatom.com here you will see that we are running dns server service on our root domain so we are not using a third party tool here or third party to manage our dns such as infoblox or some other tools so we are using same uh, windows feature and we also want to have this server as a global catalog server so this password what you see here is a directory services restore mode password so being a dns which is a requirement of active directory and having a global catalog server to share the search queries between multiple domain controllers is a good idea we do not want to have this server as a read only domain controller we want to keep it as a writable the reason is that we are going to transfer our FISMO roles to this domain controller so let's go and i have uh, uh, saved the password so just copy and paste the password here which is my default domain admin or enterprise admin password so once we add the password that will be saved uh, basically in and documented uh, for directory services restore mode once you have a backup and you want to restore your server you have to use again uh, any method to reboot uh, your server after reboot you can use ntds and you can start the progress so here we uh, basically have this message uh, this is unusual message so just ignore that message we even can go back to our l1-dc1 just to make sure that there is no any firewall implemented on domain controller so what we want to check from control panel is uh, from system and security uh, from windows firewall and allow an app or feature through windows firewall and we want to make sure that file and print uh, file and, and and print sharing is available it is available so we are good actually we will not have any issue to promote this server as a domain controller so let's go back to l1-svr1 it will automatically pick up available domain controllers uh, because we have only one uh, domain uh, root domain and that will pick up automatically this review option shows the validation so if we can promote this server as a domain controller so this should not fail if this fails we have to troubleshoot what is the issue between these two servers to communicate so let's let's run the prerequisites check so this takes about 30 seconds to one minute or maybe 90 seconds this is a pretty quick option here if it fails it fails so it is actually good so we do have some warnings so just just disregard those warnings and you can start installation of active directory once you click on install this will go through a lot of processes you can actually watch on screen as well but i think this is not an ideal that uh, you can sit and watch this all since uh, this is a high level advanced video so we know exactly what will be installed uh, but everything uh, progress shows what will be installed so we will leave it alone on the other end after a uh, few minutes it will automatically reboot and we will be able to see the log on screen so currently i should be missing my l1-svr1 from the computer's container where you have all member servers so this should be moved under domain controller ou so domain controllers is a default ou on the left side here and now you see two domain controllers because we are uh, running the visit and we pass the prerequisites check so that is where you see this is a global catalog server residing under default first site and also you can see the uh, creation date and time under your domain controllers server properties after enabling the advanced feature now you see multiple tabs here including object tab click on the object you will see on may 20 2023 at 8 39 a.m 
so this domain controller was added or moved from computers container to domain controllers OU so this is now under domain controllers OU again you will see here it is missing from this location so now this is under a site site is the default first site because I did not create any new site so active directory site and services can validate how many sites we have and which server resides under which site so you have an option to uh, create sites if you are geographically uh, spread around multiple states or countries so based on geolocation you can create new organizational units under your sites and services and place domains under those locations so here default first site has two servers one is l1 dc1 existing pdc and uh, ed ed existing schema holder or all FISMA role holder uh, then one is the new one SVR1 we are going back switching to L1 dash SVR1 because server now is a domain controller and it is uh, now uh, the time when we can start uh, transferring FISMA roles so just keep these all nodes available and uh, let me expand the screen uh, then uh, this is too big uh, let me squeeze a little bit back this screen so we can see everything in one window so I will click one more time on my full screen option here from the side and that will bring back my server at expected so I can drag and drop servers up and down a little bit also so I'm going into server manager once you look at tools now you can see all other snap in installed including active directory users and computers you see here uh, site and services domain and trust users and computers so all other options which you was which, which you are not able to see now you can see now you also can launch our active directory uh, added uh, active directory domain services or you can see dsa.msc is a command now this is a server name host name now you can see that what FISMA roles we are holding right now so right now this server should point to lon dash dc1 so net dom space query space fismo f s m o that will query about the fismo roles and current fismo role holders is l o n dash d c one so what is our objective right now is to transfer these all fismo roles to l o n dash s v r one using a ntdsutil utility so that is what i'm using right now so here this is the process or the steps so once i finish with these steps i'm just increasing the font size so you can be i mean i can zoom in also but just to save myself from extra work so i am just increasing my font size so you can see the ntdsutil uh, steps so here very first thing you have to type roles and under FISMA maintenance you have to type connections so because we are on the server where we are going to transfer all FISMA roles that is why I need to put here a, a local host instead of any remote server name where we are connecting to and transferring the role so I am already on the server where I am intending to transfer the role so once you are connected to the local host then you are good to type quit and under FISMA maintenance now the second process can be started to transfer all five FISMA roles one by one so based on what you see here on the screen you are now connected to the local server so I am transferring a schema master role first this is a forest wide role so I will transfer two forest wide roles first and validates you can go back and, and read that uh, information on the screen and the, uh, you will see the distinguished name and you will see that what other roles 
are available to which server now you are going to transfer the second role so I, I'm just using up arrow and uh, changing that schema master to domain uh, naming master okay this is a domain naming master so now we just have transferred two FISMA roles to our new server which uh, we are working on right now so the third one I'm gonna do PDC so this is basically a, a PDC role this uh, basically a role can hold uh, uh, can work like as a time server and uh, urgent replication for example if you change the password this role basically helps on uh, to replicate urgently now we have infrastructure master fourth role so I'm transferring fourth role so you can go always back and read that now which role is transferred which is being transferred now this is the last fifth role where you keep your object IDs and where you keep the pool of object IDs this is a relative identifier or read master so now you can scroll back and you can look at it so let me pull up the history of the roles so you can see from 0 to 8 so you have to go with this order roles connections connect to local server quit and then you transfer those all five roles one by one so this is the whole process of transferring FISMA role from one domain controller to a second so there is a way to transfer through the GUI way as, as well but that video I have posted already about seven years ago uh, through GUI so also I have this command line type of videos before too uh, anyway so I'm not just trying to quit from here that's supposed to be exit twice and now I am back in my command prompt window so let me pull up the history where I ran these commands so I am going to run again net dom query fismo this time I should see lon dash svr1 holding all fismo roles so this query takes about 30 seconds to might be a little more so now you can see that all five FISMA roles have been transferred into the LON-SVR1 if you go back to LON-DC1 and you run the same command you will see in the previous command window which I closed already uh, but that is open in my LON-SVR1 where you see that the FISMA roles were under LON-DC1 this domain now all FISMA roles have been transferred to LON-SVR1 you can see that so this is our new domain controller which I just promoted and that is where you can see now new roles so the next thing actually I will do in my next video about the time server or NTP server we will go and configure from the group policy where you can see the NTP server configuration so then your client basically sync the time with your uh, NTP server so this is a, a configuration from the group policy thank you for watching